in this part of the video I'm going to show you how the UID changing program works we have seen this program in the last part in order to change the UID we are going to use the example program called change UID so the UID you want to change you're going to define in this uh, hash defined constant and this is just a standard program just like you write any other Arduino program you first initialize the SPI and you have to initialize this MFRC522 library and this is the default key of uh, this classic tags you know the default key is all six bytes set to FF and the actual program starts from here these three lines of programming first detects the tag and this section prints the existing UID of the tag and all the magic happens here so in order to change the UID so there is a function called mefair set UID where we pass the new ID and the size of the UID you know in my fight tax the size of the UID is uh, 4 bytes so after this changing the UID the remaining lines here this line is going to halt and reselect the tag again and finally this line is going to dump the content of uh, the UID so what we have to do now is check how this program is written or understand what is inside this uh, the program called mefair set UID so now to do that you have to go and open the source code of this library so which I'm going to do next so in the last video I showed you this is the place where I have uh, copied the library if you open that and open this uh, looks like it's the name of the, the author and inside here you got th these two files the MFRC 52.h that's a header file and this is the C++ file so I'm going to open this uh, MFRC 52.cpp uh, or the C++ uh, program in in the text pad and this is the program so you can search for the string called the mefair set UID and this is the name of the function and what you can see here is the very first thing is the basic validation which is a very straightforward here this checks that the UID uh, these variables the new UID the byte so UID size they got some value set so the first step in this function is to authenticate with the sector 0 you know that in any uh, MIFA tax you cannot write without authentication and in order to change the UID we have to write to the block 0 so before you write or change block 0 you have to first authenticate with the default password so all FFs so in fact we are using the key A to authenticate you know in MIFA classic you got key A as well as the key B and this step is just that just in it's trying to authenticate the sector 0 and this is all the basic validation whether the authentication successful or not and if it's not successful first time it try to authenticate again so there's nothing nothing very uh, major things are happening here and the second step is so this is this is something you know it's uh, very crucial here here so we are going to read this is going to read the content of the block zero so looks like this program is going to keep everything 
accept the UID and one more thing called as the BC is the source or the checksum so as you can see here we are going to read the content of block 0 and this is just a basic validation that checks whether the read is successful or not so after that we are going to replace the first four bytes of the block 0 that's where the UID is stored and this loop here that loops from 0 to the size it could be 0 to 4 so this is where we are going to replace with the with the new UID At the same time it's also calculating the checksum which is uh, nothing but the XOR of the UID bytes the four bytes and after that the checksum is stored in the byte uh, or in the offset uh, 4 that is you know soon after the UIDs are stored the next byte is the the BCC byte and it's just the first five bytes are replaced whereas all the remaining bytes that are read in the block 0 they have just written as it is and the next step here is there's something to do with stopping the cryptographic encryption so probably we have to do that and next there's a function there's a call to a function called open UID backdoor so there's something magic happening or some magic has to be done before the actual write takes place so if you if you just assume this as you know there's something uh, magic is happening there the last step will be to write to the block zero so it looks like you know just before something is returned to the block zero so some magic has to be done and you're going to see now what exactly is this function if you go scroll up a little bit there is a function called uh, open the mefair open uid backdoor there's a nice documentation here so it is says perform some magic sequence needed to get the chinese uid changeable mefair tax to allow to write sector zero looks like in order to write to sector zero and block zero you have to do this magic so keep in mind it's not possible to write uh, in a normal card you can't write anything to block zero and there are some nice uh, documentation also speaks about you know the brick cards so what this function does is so it is trying to send the command 40 to the to the tag before that it's halting it's bringing the tag to the halt condition so after that it's going to send the command 40 and all these things you know they are pretty straightforward so uh, from here to here so it's all about sending the command 40 looks like this command 40 is understood only by these uh, Chinese uh, UID changeable tags this command is not understood by a normal uh, tag and after this command is sent to the tag so here there is a check made for the response looks like the card is going to respond with only one byte with the value as 0a so this is just a basic validation so if you assume that the value of this uh, the response you got after this command 40 if it's a 0a so it goes to the the second step here the second step the command 43 is passed to the to the tag and here also the response expected is a 0a and if the response is 0a the tag probably you know the tag is opened uh, for writing to block 0 and that's all it does you know that's all this uh, function called open UID backdoor does so after that when the backdoor is open and sorry when the backdoor is open here and this command is uh, what we already uh, initialized before where the first four bytes is UID the fifth byte is the BCC and everything written to the block 0 so this is just bringing the tag or waking the tag up and if everything if everything is fine the function returns true 
and you're back into this uh, this example program we just uh, go and have a look at that so if this function returns a true so you see this message so after that the function the card is uh, sent to the halt state and it is reactivated and just the thing you know the memory dump is done so after looking at this code it looks like the most important thing that is happening here is sending this uh, magic commands there's the command 40 and followed by the command 43 and in both these commands the response will be 0a so looks like you know this is what uh, it's called as a backdoor commands